In the past few days, Ukraine has suddenly appeared on the front page of virtually every major American newspaper. You might be a bit confused why. On July 25th, U.S. President Donald Trump and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had a phone call. Then, two months later, it became known that Trump had discussed former Vice President Joe Biden, currently Trump's most likely opponent in the 2020 presidential race, in the call. According to a whistleblower complaint and reports from the U.S. media, Trump pressured Zelensky to cooperate with his attorney, Rudy Giuliani, to investigate Biden's son, who had worked in Ukraine. Trump confirmed discussing Biden, but has denied pressuring Zelensky. That news breathed new life into a long-standing scandal. Earlier this year, Giuliani made several serious accusations against Biden and the Ukrainian government. If proven, these accusations might help Trump win re-election in 2020. But there's a problem. The claims aren't backed up by any evidence. Rudy Giuliani claims that, number one, Biden pressured Ukraine to fire its former prosecutor general in order to hamper an investigation into the Ukrainian company where Biden's son was on the board of directors. And number two, that Ukrainian officials conspired to help Hillary Clinton in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. For now, we'll only focus on the first accusation because you can only disprove so much conspiracy theory in one video. Joe Biden's son, Hunter, served on the board of directors of Burisma Holdings, the largest private oil and gas extraction company in Ukraine, from 2014 to 2019. Burisma belongs to Mykola Zlichevsky, a Ukrainian businessman and former ecology and natural resources minister. Zlichevsky and Burisma have been investigated for money laundering, illegal enrichment, and corruption by state officials. However, the investigations were either closed, downgraded to tax evasion cases, or have languished without action. There was no investigation of Biden's son, so the prosecutor general at that time, Viktor Shokin, was not a threat to Hunter Biden. However, in 2016, Biden indeed pressured Ukraine to fire Shokin. Why is that? Viktor Shokin was Ukraine's prosecutor general from February 2015 to April 2016. By the end of his term, he was likely one of the most unpopular figures in Ukraine. None of the investigations into corrupt top officials moved forward during Shokin's tenure, and Biden was not alone in calling for Shokin's ouster. Anti-graft activists, non-profit government watchdogs, and even members of the ruling coalition in parliament called for Shokin to be fired. Everybody wanted this guy out. In March 2019, Yuri Lutsenko, Shokin's successor, gave an interview to John Solomon, a controversial contributor to news outlet The Hill. There, he said Biden had pressured the Ukrainian government to fire Shokin in order to protect Burisma Holdings. At the time of his interview, Lutsenko was on the way out, and he probably knew it. Then President Petro Poroshenko was heading for a spectacular electoral defeat. By burnishing his image in the West, Lutsenko was likely angling to keep his job in a new administration by gaining the support of Trump's people. With little knowledge of Ukrainian politics, Solomon appears to have taken his claims at face value. For now, Ukraine has not opened an investigation into Biden's son, and Zelensky's administration appears to be playing down the issue. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Vadim Pristaiko has said he didn't think there was any pressure from Trump. But all eyes are now on Zelensky and Trump's upcoming meeting in New York. If you want to dive even deeper into this story, check out the Kyiv Post website for our full analysis.